and welcome to part 10 of Pokemon Emerald Run in 2012 Let's Play here on the Heavy Base Ace channel, formerly known as a lot as a freaking Let's Play Monthly. We are due for that island and we've picked up a skill silk scarf, which is brand new by the way, so hooray, we has a silk scarf, woo! Let's get out of here. We're in Dewford, which means there's a gym place where we can talk to this fisherman here. And pretty much we, he'll give you the old rod, which is not much, but we can now catch Pokemon using the old rod, which we could used to in the past games. If you don't know what you can catch, we're going to be doing that right now. Let's register our brand new rod. And if you already know what's coming up, then you already know exactly what's going to be caught with this old rod. So, let's start catching. And oh boy, I wonder what we can get our hands on! Magic Carp. Well, it's a good level though, level 8. At least it's not 5. And painful. Anyway, let's catch one. I'm pretty sure that. I don't know, we'll probably catch something. Even though it's Gen 3 and Garrett, who still remains popular as he is, let's go catch him. Yeah, let's throw a Pokeball at him. I'm pretty sure we'll have some use out of him. By the way, this is probably going to be... Oh, wait. A magic card broke free out of a Pokeball. Yeah, I think I screwed up somewhere. Let's try again. Pokeball, catch that magic card. Magic card. And the magic card is ours. Although I have no idea what we're going to do with it because magic cards are nigh high useless until they evolve. Then they become fantastic. So... Let's see if we can try and catch our hands on, say, a. Fr let's let's catch our hands on a other Pokemon that you can catch with an old rod. And I'm hoping we're lucky. Yes, we are. A tentacool. You have no idea how difficult this was catching one of these things. Basically, it's the same as a cool tent, which was Chuck Conroy's uh, tentacool. So, now that we have weakened it to a position, let's throw a Great Ball at it. Great Balls are stronger than Pokeballs and they will do better catching resistance. Like so. A cool tent has joined us. Nah, not really. As much cool as what cool a tent is, he's not going to join the team. Trust me, he won't. So, let's go back down here. Yes. Let's go back to the Pokemon Center. So we've pretty much done the cool tent thing, and I think we're going to be showing off other Pokemon as well as well. So let's do this. Now I'm just thinking, since this game doesn't really have a clear water type, and this later on you'll be facing a electric type gym leader with no clear definition of uh, how to counter it, you're gonna, I'm gonna have problems. So I'm gonna have to be right back. See ya. Now that I'm back, I've decided to uh, do the unthinkable. I'm going to let another starter join the team. And I think I'm going to let Mudkip join. Well, you have to because Mudkip is pretty much the only decent water type you'll ever get in the game so far. So, basically, take on this Fishman! Fishman! Fishman has a tentacle at level 11 and has Mudkip. Now Mudkip back to this is where a physical gets better. Doesn't do much. Except I've been poisoned. Oh you son of a bitch. Using Mud Slap actually is still physical. It does a bit of damage regardless. And I'm still hurt a lot. Yeah, this is going to be awkward. Right, tackle. Get rid of this tender cool. I'm gonna have to heal my mudkips. But mudkip almost level, almost reached level 16. It's evolution. Yes, it is. And that's bad because now I have to like heal my mudkip. Yeah, back to the Pokemon Center I go. This was when uh, poison effects were still being a bitch. So what can I say? Okay, so let's heal the mudkip. Let's heal the team again. You notice I actually have at least a few on me. Um, I, you notice I have a Trico, a Torchic, and a Mudkip, which I traded for. The Torchic and the Mudkip, especially. Then I go Ralts and uh, Taillow. 
uh, they're, they're staying regardless. I need a psyche type and I need a flying type. And now I face this fisherman, which has a uh, three Pokemon, two Pokemon, two, three Pokemon to his team, and they're all fucking Magikarp. What's the point of Magikarp? Oh, I'll just have to show off my Torchic. Torchic is actually pretty strong, and it, they don't attack, they just splash, and you can pretty much gain some easy experience. I mean, it's not the best experience in the game, but it's the easiest experience you can get your hands on. Next up is Tentacool. Still water poison type. The only one you can actually get your bloody hat worth of your experience for, since technically it's a 2-4. Two for, two for, two for tier. And next up is another magic card, which we're going to be slamming and bashing, because all it can do is splash, 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 splash. Um, s scratch again. Splash. Seriously, this is the easiest battle I've been in so far. I don't even need to do much. And that's the end of her torture. And of course, the fisherman has been defeated. You've fisherman's grave, but can we battle again? I believe so, fisherman. Yeah, just go say fisherman. Anyway, <laughs> let's go inside the Granite Cave. The Granite Cave is what we need to get through, and this is going to be full of all sorts of Pokemon that we can add to our team. Like this big, like this, like this big bastard. This is a Marco Heater. Of pure fighting type that's in the vein of defensive. Over the years, it's become very defensive. Its ability is Thick Fat, which which nullifies, so, which pretty much it nullifies uh, fire attacks. So let's throw a Pokeball at it. Now I throw a Great Ball at it. Why not? Because when I throw things with a Great Ball, it's going to join the team, except for the Tentacle I just caught a while ago. So Marco Heater is caught, and he joins our team. I need a pure fighting type, by the way. I need one. And Marco Heater actually fits the bill. Plus, we're going with Hoenn, ugly Pokemon, and he's the best choice. Of course, Trico here is about to evolve. We're pretty sure we're very close. Now all we gotta do is fight Pokemon that, that do exist in this cave. Yeah, I know it's a horrible little zoom function, but I think I screwed up somewhere. Anyway, our next Pokemon is another Marco Heater. Still level 8, but the best thing about this thing, they actually give experience. And I'm gonna learn right now. That I'm probably the key is up. So I'm a lot stronger than I think it is. Yeah, these things have arm. This is the first Pokemon to have arm thrust in the game. Arm thrust was introduced in Gen 3 as a multi hit fighting type attack that has been taken over over the years by, I believe, Marco Eater and now, of course, uh, Pig Knight. And I still haven't. God damn. Yeah, I just need to evolve my little guy. No big deal. Anyway, ooh, Zubat. I like Zubats. Zubats are pretty good, actually. Yeah. This is not hard called Soul Silver where we do need to get one. Anyway, Zubats, poison flying type. They have leech life. They seem to have a lot of moves and a lot of annoyances. Let's get. Ooh, nearly killed it. Which is good because it's in the red area and we can now just throw a regular Pokemon on it and we can catch it. This is basically the most episodes I've ever caught a Pokemon. Period. So, Zubat now gets a Pokeball. One, two, three. Caught. And that's the end of that. Yes. Alright then. Zubat has been captured. And now he's gone to the PC. Good. There's at least three Pokemon I can find in this area, still. You'd be very surprised with how much I won't. But I still couldn't get my hands on a freaking slark off. You'd be ridiculous to find one. So, next choice is of course the Marco Heater. What's that? Oh, no way, I already had the Marco Heater. It's in my team. Uh, let's see. Can I switch it and successfully evolve it? Let's find out. Ah. That really didn't hurt me much. Okay? That didn't hurt me at all. Torchic. I know when you do, like, trip evolutions, it doesn't really do much. Yeah, I noticed that already. So let's hit it with an ember, which is fire damage. Or special damage. In this in Gen 3, there was like physical attacks were more of the normal, 
the ground, the rock, and the steel variety. And the uh, special were more of the dark, the fire, the electric, and all that. And Trinko levels up to 60 and learns Pursuit, which is kind of an important move here because now it replaces Leer. No, actually it's replacing Pound. Why am I replacing Pound? I don't know. And then, need to level up for magic for that one. But the good news is, ladies and gentlemen, our Trico is evolving! Wow, we're evolving Trico! Thank fucking Christ! So, Trico now evolves to his secondary form, if you already know your Pokemon by now. But if you're new, Trico evolves in two! Groviles, a bigger form of a Trico, is more lizard-like. And now Deck gets to learn Fury Cutter. Which is not much really to go with. So, let's remove Leer, where we actually have three decent physical attacks to work with for our, uh, for our special base Grovile. I feel stupid, but I got no choice. Even though it's not special, 27 does a lot of damage. 47 is actually pretty good for a... Uh, Alright then, let's see if we can get some now. Who could interrupt me at this point? Another Marco Hita. Possibly yes. Alright, let's get to it. Torchic. And we're running away because I'm a stupid coward. Okay, we're not picking that item yet. Problem with this area is you need flash. But we can easily get a Pokemon here. So it's a ooh! Ooh! Oh, that's gonna be useful! It's a Sableye! They introduced this Pokemon for a specific reason! He is a, he is basically invincible! Well, as much as invincible we're gonna be getting in this one! Also, he's a decent Psychic type! In theory, he's actually a pretty good po- Oh, shit! Almost killed him, and I would've evolved my Torchic to his next form. But, I think we're gonna throw a Premier Ball at it! keep the subtlety there and actually we're gonna catch it one two three Sableye is caught Sableye is the first ever dark ghost type in the entire game and he's actually pretty useful somewhat in this generation because he's, because he is immune to a lot of things picking up the escape rope which we're probably gonna be using in like a few minutes let's go back underground Let's see if we can find another Pokemon that we can actually use. Aha! An Aaron! Good choice. Good choice. Aaron is the is a steel rock type, another new typing in this at this time, and he's actually one of the best physical Pokemon in the game. Considered to be useful for, because let's just put it this way: a physical water type, a physical steel rock type actually works. And now it looks like we're gonna evolve our Ch Torchic and Mudkip. Torchic levels up to 16 and learns Peck, which is crucial because it can learn another one when it evolves. Let's get rid of Growl because because we have no use for it anymore. And now Mudkip will level up as well to 16. Yes. And he's got a good physical stats. So, Torchic is evolving! Oh my goodness. Yeah, you already know who Torchic evolves into. He's the most po he was the, considered the most popular star at the time. Well, not much anymore, but considering anyway. Torchic evolves into... A Combusca. Yes. Combusca is the first ever firefighting type. And sadly, the next three starters have all been fire fucking fighting. It was useful, but not anymore. Because in theory, fire fighting makes him the first light star to evolve anyway. Oh shit, Mudkip's evolving. So, what does Mudkip evolve into that makes him look better than he did it mean that he was? Mudkip evolves into. Marshtomp! Marshtomp is a water ground type. Very, very handy in this game. Not many ground types can actually proclaim that they're actually good. 
Sadly for Marsh Tom here, <coughs> he's the only ground type you get before Gen 3. Before the third gym. Now let's see if we can try ourselves a better... No, not really. I'm hoping not for no Marco Hina. So, couple's gone! Let's get her rolling. Indeed, let's get her rolling. Alright then. Now here comes another Aaron. Oh good. Oh, a male Aaron. Useful. Very useful. We're not going for breeding types if that's what anyone is actually asking. So, technically Aaron, pretty much what happens here is that it just... Let's see if we can catch it with a great ball. The last great ball of, the, of our squad should actually go to a Pokemon that actually does need it. So one, two, three, caught. And Aaron is ours! So, our first, uh, our Steel Rock type of the game, which is going to be our Aaron here. Because there's not many other Steel types that actually work with. And to be fair, there's not much you can go with. I mean, the other ones are legendary, but that's pretty much it. It's uh, that's Jirachi. So, what am I, what am I doing here? Nothing. So, let's get back upstairs. You know, the surprising thing is, the only thing I'm missing from this cave is your typical Geodude. Even I can't find him in this patch, so I may have to go back inside and actually find Geodude. Although, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to need Geodude, mainly due to the fact that I already have my rock, I've already caught the rock type that is already going to join this team, and that's of course Aaron. So, what do we learn from this cave? We've actually caught a, uh, our fighting type, our steel rock type, and we're going to be, and our dark ghost type. Aaron, Makuhita, and Sableye will be joining us for the ne for the journey ahead. Especially Sableye, he'll be very much useful for the next battle against uh, for the gym leader. So, let's get back. We're done here for now, so let's get ourselves ready right and heal because we're gonna need to really need it. We now have a Combuskin and a Marsh Tom as long as alongside our Grovile. So let's take a look. We'll take a look at the stats real quickly. I'm pretty sure that Kabuskin will join the team as a temporary fire type. Oh, the only decent fire type we actually have. Kabuskin element, Blaze, he has 51 attack, very useful, and a mixed stats for Marsh Dog, which is more defensive based and slow. Alright then. So we're done for now, so let's save here. We have we've just caught technically Marsh Top was actually our 30th. Actually, Aaron was on three, and I'll see you next time for another edition. And as I have to save again, maybe due to the fact that in these things, it's like two things at the same time. So, see you next time, folks.